In this video, I will show you how to join the B-Swarm Discord Roblox server. So let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I'm here on my desktop. I've got the Discord app opened. If you do prefer to use a web-based version, that's absolutely fine. The steps are the same, so just follow along. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually come to your server list on the left-hand side. And what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to see a plus button which says to add a server. Go ahead and give this a click. And from here, what you're going to want to do is if you look at the bottom of this new window that comes up, it says have an invite already, join a server. So just go ahead and click the join server button. And then in the invite link box, you need to put the following, which is discord.gg forward slash B, just like that. And then go ahead and click the blue join server. Next, what you want to do is when you first come into the server, you actually have to verify your account first. So to do this, if you look at the top, it's going to say you must complete a few more steps before you can start talking in the server. Just go ahead and click the blue complete box here. What you want to do first is read through all these rules and then tick the box and then click submit. And then what you want to do is verify your account. So if you come to the left hand side and click on to verify here, and what you're going to do is use Rover to verify your account. So you can see that's here. It says verify my Roblox account. If you don't have Rover set up, check out my channel because I do have a video on how to set this up. But once you've gone ahead and verified your account with Rover, you'll then be able to use the server and post and access all the features. So I heard this quick tutorial how to today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.